good morning now we can discuss next theory that is gross ledyard mechanism gross and ledyard jointly work hard and gave the demand revealing mechanism which they are called by the name an optimal government gross and ledyard jointly work hard and gave demand revealing mechanism and they called by a name that is optimal government this mechanism used to formulate rules of a game in which the amount of tax and distribution of public goods is being determined by the government as a result of those messages which the individuals choose to communicate though the government has no independent knowledge about the preference and the individuals are aware that giving signal of their preferences to the government will be beneficial for the government and it might be possible that pareto optimal situation in the economy pareto optimal we have already studied in the microeconomics then gross ledyard mechanism is defined for general equilibrium and applies to smooth preference they discovered this scheme in 1975 and work out this mechanism is in a quasi linear form that is ax function of ax b that is equal to a x plus fx function of b that is considered as equation 1 in this theory we have so much equations the advantage of clark tax is there is a dominant strategy for the equilibrium but the disadvantage is that this tax system was leading to pareto efficient situation but some amount of private goods are being wasted in this mechanism suppose there are x consumers x number of consumers there is one public good and one private good each consumer has initial endowment of ax unit of private good public goods are being produced at a constant unit cost public goods are producing at a same con- cost as q the government will ask each consumer x to submit number of positive or negative of mx the government will supply the amount of public goods b that is equal to summation of x mx now gross ledyard mechanism is presented as another equation as minus mx equal to 1 by n minus 1 that is summation y is not equal to 1 my let us consider this equation as 1.2 it will be the average of the number submitted by persons rather than x the function can also be defined as rx n equal to 1 by n minus 2 sigma y that is not equal to x then function of my minus m minus x function 2 then that is considered as equation 3 the thing that is being noticed in equation 1.3 that r6 function of n depends on minus m minus x for y is not equal to x but does not depend on m y these expressions will help in making a balanced budget when vector message sent by individual consumers r m equal to function of m1 minus mn then gross ledyard mechanism will impose tax on individual x that is equal to tx tx means tax x of m equal to alpha x q summation and k equal to 1 mk plus gamma by 2 then n by n minus 1 function of mx minus mx 2 equation 1.4 where alpha x and gamma are arbitrarily chosen positive parameters and summation k alpha x 
if the vector message is m equal to m1 minus mn, then consumer x utility will be dx minus dx function of m plus fx summation and k equal to 1 mk. Let us consider it as 1.5. In case of Nash equilibrium, Nash equilibrium you have already studied it. Game theory. Each consumer x would be choosing mx to maximize in equation 1.5. Then the equation can be changed to first order for maximizing is fx summation kmk equal to gamma. Then mx minus 1 by n summation kmk plus alpha xk can be considered as 1.6. Now summing up this equation, we will get another equation as summation alpha k equal to 1 and summation kfk function of summation kmk that is all equal to q. This is Samuelson condition for efficient provision of public goods. A tricky thing to depict exhibit is that total revenue collected by the gross lettered mechanism is equal to cost of the public good. Thus, to find out the total of the sum of the taxes collected from each consumer x, then it is being find out that summation nx equal to 1 tx, then function of m equal to Summation nx equal to 1 alpha x q summation nk equal to 1 mk plus 1 by 2 then summation nx equal to 1 function of n minus n by n minus 1 that is function of mx minus m minus x then raise to 2 then rx function of m. This equation considered as a 1.7. Now for fiddling the sum of the quadratics the result will be summation nx equal to 1 n divided by n minus 1 and function of mx minus m minus x multiplied with the 2 and summation nx equal to 1 rx function of m. This can be considered as 1.8. Therefore, 1 point equation can be simplified as follows. That is summation nx equal to 1 tax x m equal to summation nx equal to 1 alpha x q then summation and k equal to 1 mk. That can be considered as equation 1.9. Since summation and k equal to 1 and mx equal to b and summation and x equal to 1 alpha x equal to 1. This equation is further simplified as follows. That is summation and x equal to 1. That is tx function of m and q multiplied with b. It is greatest interest to analyze the gross Ladiard mechanism that the nature of this mechanism is applied in quasi-linear utility where each consumer x has a utility function. V of x e function ax b that is equal to ax plus fx function of b. This type of model gives a unique solution as given by the clerk. This type of equilibrium can be easily computed and described. Since fk is not fk less than 0 and equation can be considered as 1.1 has a unique solution for summation kmk. Let b denote this solution. Okay. Now this equation can be defined as follows bx equal to fxb. Now alpha x, q and gamma are parameters and bx is uniquely solved. Thus the unique solution for mx is follows mx equal to 1 gamma then 
function of dx minus alpha x cube multiplied d by n. Thus, this is the quasi-linear explanation, gross Ledyard mechanism. Then, next theory is Taibout model. According to Taibout, the communities have two ways to acquire more persons in their community. First, by forming cartel. Cartel means association and enforcing singular tax rate among various communities. Second, is health tax competition among the communities to acquire the individuals to their communities. This tax competition is what Taibout stressed in his model as an integral part of allocation of local resource without any government provisions. Although in many public good theory, funding is rather implied. The Taibout elucidated that if the public goods are local, that is that consumption of the public goods and locational choice are bundled, then the market type of solution may exist, at least approximately, and hence no government intervention will be required. The basic type out model takes many communities offering different level of public goods. It takes into account unique way to come down to the optimal tax rate in a community which is called as watered with their feet. According to this, the individuals will prefer their most preferred community and reveal their demand for public good and overcoming the greatest problem with the public goods theory that is the difficulty of revelation of true individual preference. The concept of food voting can be utilized to maintain discipline in the communities. The assumptions of the model are consumers are perfectly mobile where either preference patterns which are set are best satisfied. Full second assumption is full information knowledge of difference among revenue and expenditure patterns and to react this difference. Third assumption is huge number of communities in which consumer voters may choose to live. Then fourth assumption is all income from dividends that is exogenous. Then fifth is number of spillover externality factors among the communities that is public service sub Applied, exhibit no external economies or diseconomies between the communities. Then sixth one is average cost of providing public goods as the function of population is U-shaped. That is there is a cost minimizing population size. The basic framework of this model is based on general equilibrium model framework. So according to the type out model, there is an allocation plan and a production plan respectively for the consumer and firm. firm. Along with it a public goods bundle for the regional government and one region for each consumer. A type out equilibrium is composed of an allocation price for each commodity and a tax system for each region such that following conditions are fulfilled. First one is consumers select their consumption bundle optimally. Second one is consumers select their region of residence that is consumption optimally. Then third one firms maximize profit. Fourth, market clear. Fifth, each regional government balances its, its budget. Then the general message from the type of literature is that efficiency is not likely to obtain. So we can conclude type of equilibrium except under very restrictive assumptions. Some of the characteristics of the model are critical to equilibrium properties consist as objective of local government. A tax instruments assumed to be feasible 
the pattern of factor ownership and nature of local government competition so today we have discussed two theories if you have any doubt please contact me thank you